Hello, I am going to be doing my UFC 94 predictions. And starting from the bottom to top, we, we have Manny Gamburian knocking out Tiago Tavares due to the fact that Manny is just... I think he has learned not to just charge at a guy who's like five inches taller than him. That and also I don't I think that um Chuckle's chin is like demolished after Matt Byman I think totally killed him. <laughs> then also I think that he look that he looked pretty crappy against Kurt Pellegrino, so I am taking Manville to win in the second round due to some smashings. They said we have Chris Wilson against somebody, who, and he's going to be beating that guy up. I think he's actually going to be finish this guy, which is surprising for Chris Wilson because he's a Team Crest dude. But anyway, yeah, I'm thinking he's going to get second round knockout. They said we have Dan Kramer versus Matt Arroyo. For some reason, I have Dan Kramer by judges' decision. Don't know why. Just think that. Except we have Stefan Bonner, Stefan the American Psycho Bonner, who looks lo a lot, looks more like Nicolas Cage than the guy from American Psycho, in my opinion. Against John Bones Jones, um, John Jones beating Andre Guzmao, but um, Guzmao, he's only five ten, while John Jones is six four. You should beat a guy that's like that much shorter than him if you th than you if. So I don't I didn't really wasn't really impressed by John at that, but and I think Seth and Bonnie is just gonna tool him. Decision I'm going by the decision that yeah. I'm going by U D because I don't really know what his re actual weakness is. Sorry, aim. Anyway. Next up we have Jago Bryan versus Christine the Hungarian Can Relish. And I'm thinking Jacob Bryan is gonna. Mm, for some reason, I think he he, ha, uh, he I got judge's decision. I am picking him to win by a knockout due to the fact that he while well, Jacob Bryan has looked tentative for a while, it's and has been going in for the kill. It's because he's been up against really tough dudes. Well, Christian Release is just not that good, and I think it's gonna be a loser leaves home match, but. For some reason they have it at light heavyweight, which is weird, but enough of that. Next on to the, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five fights that I actually do care, care about. We have Clay the Conde Guida versus Nate Diaz, and Clay Guida is from Illinois, therefore he will win, because Nate Diaz is not Brazilian. So, go Guida. Next up we have Dong Hyun Kim against the original Armenian Judica Midget. Carl the Heat Parisian. It seems that he, that Manny's been copying him, George wait, Roman's been copying him, and they're just not that big. You know, they're all welterweights or lightweights. But anyway, I'm picking Kim to win because Carl has panic attacks and is at the front age of 26 is already washed up. Kinda like Diego Sanchez, except I don't really care, except they care even less about Coral being washed up. Third round TKO due to the fact that, um, I think that Duncan Kim still needs to work on his, um, power. And sorry if I'm being kind of slow and stuttery, it's because my dog died, get used to it. My dog died and it's still kind of sad. But he said it was two days before my birthday. They said we have Ak John Fitch completely and totally brutalizing Akihiro Gono. They said we have Leo Tomoshida versus Tiago Silva. And I they're both 13 0. I thought that one of them actually had one, a fewer fights than the other, but anyway. I'm picking. The Oto to win, and I don't care what you guys think. I actually kind of like seeing Rashida fighting. It's not really more about 
people hitting him, it's just that the way he blocks that I like about him. It's just that you can't hit me. I kind of like that little dodging. It's make, it adds a lot more realism than just people going, yeah, walking up, hey, let's punch, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> just think that's a lot better to watch and cooler. And I think Tiago Silva is grossly overrated. No real big names that he has beaten. So, Lyoto, decision. Next up we have George P. St. Pierre versus BJ Penn. I'm going to be going against the underdog in BJ Penn by a split decision. If he shows up to the fight and he gets George in or, and he takes George in early, I'm. I'm. George has a big shot at this, and I'm taking a risk on all, everybody coming down me and saying, Why are you picking against GSP? Blah blah blah. But I am picking against him mainly because I just think that he looked good against Sean, that Penn looked good against Shirk, and all that goodness. And it's probably going to be the dumbest pick I, since I picked Sean Shirk to beat BJ at that pick, but that's an, about it. Um. Anyway, I'm going to be piecing out. Hopefully this gets through. Or not, if you don't like the way I sat there. Or whatever. Again, it's something I was born with, and something I can't really help. But anyway, peace out. Later, have a nice day.